Mambo, and Salam Aleikum from Mombasa, Kenya's port of the world, and also its most interesting city. Now, it's my first time here, and I've been told it has a very different feel from the rest of Kenya. That might have something to do with the fact that it's a Muslim city in a country that's overwhelmingly Christian. What I'm going to do today, I don't really have a plan to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm going to walk around, try some street food, look at the sights, and uh, hopefully I can get through the day without anything crazy happening. So, Twindy. What? I am living here. Uh. I'm a baby. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I can't hope. Toilet. There's a dude yelling at me on the streets, telling me to get down from here. But I'm actually paying to stay up here. Eh. No, no, no. I can't hope. Eh, okay. I know she's there. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> They're worried I'm up to no good over here. Come back, man, go back. So, uh, I'm in the old town or the historical quarter of Mombasa here. And it's pretty busy. And another thing I've noticed, it's very diverse. I'm seeing people that look like they're of Indian descent, of Arab descent, Baluchi descent. And it reflects a little bit of the history here, which I'll try to get into. Now, if you ask any Kenyan in Nairobi if they speak Swahili, what they'll tell you is we speak it very poorly. But those guys in Mombasa, they speak it perfectly. They speak Swahili like a Tanzanian. And that's what you'll notice here. What they're talking about is in Nairobi, they kind of mix Swahili more with English. Whereas here, because Swahili is actually the native language of most of the people, it's literally the Swahili people. So they grew up speaking like the pure form of it without as many English words mixed in. I was just walking around and I met this dude over here. What's your name? Hassan. Hassan. Hassan recognized me from YouTube. He's watched every single video. That's what he told me. He watched it like five times. Hassan, what should I do out here in Mombasa? Just pick the uh, Try Swahili food. Try Swahili food? Yeah. Okay. Poor Jesus is uh, where exactly? It's down this way. Yeah. Just okay. go straight. Okay. Then Tanya. That's how you pronounce it? Poor Jesus? Yeah. Not poor, like Jesus or yeah. uh, Jesus? Or? Yeah, you sell uh, accessories, phones also. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. You ever walk it around yeah. and you need a phone cover? Yeah. yeah. Just come here. There you go. Yeah, Makadara. I'll see you later. Tutu okay. Anana. Okay. Bye bye. So as I walk around here in Mombasa, and especially if you've been watching since Tanzania, you may notice a strong resemblance in this city to Zanzibar. And that's no coincidence because the two places have pretty similar histories. And in fact, they were even ruled by the same guy, the Sultan of Zanzibar, for a period of time. Mombasa, basically, was a trading outpost. You had the original Bantu African groups, they were known as the 12 nations, and they would trade with people from Arabia, India, Persia, and elsewhere. Things got a little bit crazier later though. So, una bangiri a Kenya too, una Uganda. Nikona East Africa, Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya. Okay, okay. Na, na So, uh, Mojan and Bengani. 
hizo tatu zitakuwa ni 750 so 750 that that you know where's uh yeah okay these things are really hard to put on yeah you know this you put like this yeah oh that's what you do yeah when we enter inside this yeah but you know you cheaper uh, because this is the fishing line okay and the fishing line is uh, so when you put inside you do like this okay this is, this is about the only other time i could think of i'd make this hand motion but now it will be okay also when you remove all right i'm keeping it real here all right i don't want any of you three to think i like one of you more than the other all right we can all get together and happily drink our mbege or waraji or amnazi <laughs> Behind me is Fort Jesus, which I will show you the exterior of, but I will not actually go in because they're charging foreigners something like triple the price or 10 times the price. I don't know what it is. I get it, but I'm not that interested in places like this anyway. But I am interested in the history of it. And this was built by the Portuguese. That's right. For a long period of time, actually, the Portuguese were in control of Mombasa. Nothing else in Kenya, just this particular city. And the Portuguese would fight back and forth with the Omani Arabs. And the, both, the two of them would go back and forth with taking control of the city. So much so that Mombasa became known as Kisiwa Chavita, the island of war. So it's now about 2 p.m. or something like that. <laughs> and I still haven't eaten today because uh, I just forget to do things sometimes. So, what I heard is you have a really good street food here called Diazi Karanga. Hey, 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 Subiri, Subiri. Diazi Karanga, if you want to. Nataka Kula Diazi Karanga. Diazi Karanga, if you want to go to the house. Yeah. Julia, what's that? Okay, okay. Nah, nah, in the hook, what's that? What I heard is you have a dish here called Viazi Karanga. It's like potatoes, chicken, you got like some sauce mixed in there. It's supposed to be really good. And uh, let's go find that. Apparently, if Nairobi is the city of Matatus, then Mombasa is the city of Tuk Tuk's. All right, this looks legit. Alright, so what you got right here is you got the uh, the Yazi Karanga that I was talking about and uh this right here is okra. It seems to be in some kind of spicy sauce also. And then you got chapati bread. And that, the chapati, along with maybe plantains, that's like the one universal food that I've seen all over East Africa, no matter where you go. They always have chapati. Relatively easy to make, but always pretty good. Nini Natoka Hapa, Nini Natoka Mombasa. So, Mombasa and Nairobi are about to get Nairobi, In Nairobi, they say like you guys speak good Swahili, but they speak bad Swahili. Kwanini. Is that impression? That's their impression? Yeah, busy looking for money. Oh, they're just busy looking for money. Okay. 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 Okay.